On Wednesday, the Biden administration announced a new policy granting temporary work permits to nearly 500,000 Venezuelans who arrived in the United States before August 1st of this year. The move was applauded by, among others, New York Mayor Eric Adams, who has pleaded with the White House to take action so migrants can work and support themselves as city resources are stretched well beyond capacity. The announcement comes as apprehensions at the southern border are spiking again this month near record highs. NBC's senior White House correspondent Gabe Gutierrez has more in our Sunday Focus. In just one week, they came by the thousands, group after group after group of migrants streaming into Eagle Pass, Texas, prompting the border town to declare a state of emergency and straining the nation's immigration system again. I asked the American people for forgiveness for crossing the border this way, this man says. But I'm coming from a situation where they threatened to kill my family. This past Wednesday alone, a Customs and Border Protection official tells NBC News nearly 9,000 migrants crossed the border illegally, almost a record high. During the last fiscal year, 2022, the Border Patrol encountered a record 2.2 million people crossing the border illegally. The numbers went down a bit in the fiscal year ending this month, but are still high, among the highest in decades. When did you put up this fire? Earlier this summer, we visited Eagle Pass shortly after state troopers had installed razor wire to keep migrants out. We met this group of Venezuelans as they crossed the Rio Grande. Are you desperate? Están desesperado. Of course, they said. We toured the area from above with the Texas Department of Public Safety. This is not a secure border. Anybody that thinks this is a secure border is uh, delusional. A lot of the people, the, they have their children, small children on their uh, shoulders trying to come across, but if they lose their footing, you know, they go down in the water. And this is something you see every day. Oh, this is every day. On Saturday, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas visited the border and met with the president of Honduras to discuss cooperation on illegal migration. We are combating these smugglers more intensely than ever before. The White House says it's expanding capacity in DHS facilities and deploying 800 new military personnel to the border. You think that'll be enough? Look, it's on top of what we have done already. Uh, in the past uh, two years under this administration. Look, every year the U.S. Is, uh, sees ebbs and flows uh, of migrants arriving uh, fueled by seasonal trends and efforts of smugglers to encourage, uh, encourage migration. In a major policy shift, the Biden administration is also giving temporary protected status to nearly half a million Venezuelan migrants, preventing them from being deported and allowing them to apply for work permits immediately a move to welcome by officials in New York, which is still seeing some 3,000 migrants arrive each week. We've spoken with some of them who've lived in Manhattan hotels for months on the taxpayer's dime because of the city's long-standing policy requiring a place to stay for anyone who asks for it. This was intended to help homeless people stay off the streets, help families, but it was never intended to be an unlimited universal right and obligation to shelter the entire world. And that's the way it's been interpreted. And Gabe joins me now live. Gabe, good morning. You have covered this immigration issue so closely over the years. You've seen these trends rise and fall. So what is driving this latest wave of migrants arriving at the southern border? Well, Willie, there are several factors. First, smugglers deciding to bring migrants all at once. Two, rumors had spread among some of the migrants that the borders were open. And third, cooler temperatures after a summer of record-breaking heat made it easier to cross. Now, critics of the Biden administration argue the new policy changes for Venezuelans will incentivize more migrants to come. But the White House says that temporary protected status will only apply to those who came before July 31st. Still, it's a very fluid situation at the border with no end in sight. Overnight, the mayor of El Paso also said that city is at a breaking point, Willie. As you say, overwhelmed at the border, but also up into cities like New York and Chicago across the country. So interesting. Gabe, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.